Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to introduce you to Pictures. It is a gallery application that is available on the Google Play Store for absolutely free. And it was one of the first applications to feature a material design before the Lollipop was even released. So I actually started using this last year before I even got my Nexus, before I even had Lollipop or a Lollipop enabled device. And it's really, really unique. It has a lot of features that other applications or other gallery applications don't offer. And it's just really, really nice. So to show you guys what this has right off the bat, when you first open it, it looks pretty basic, but don't let the looks fool you. As soon as you start sliding through, you're gonna notice that material design kicks right in. You also have the ability to change your cover art to pretty much anything you want. So you can go in here and just hit select cover, and then you can go through all of your pictures. You can even use a slider to navigate through but not only this, but actually the galleries themselves to navigate through pictures quickly. But once you select a actual picture you want to use for your cover art, you can go and select some pretty cool features. You can actually go and zoom in on something really specific if you want to. You can even blur it out so you don't want it to be overly sharp or too apparent in the background. You can do that, adjust it to anything you want. Now there is another aspect to this. You know, you can actually rename the gallery itself. So if you don't want to say all, you can just say, you know, pictures or to make it your main gallery, what have you. So you can rename it to whatever you want. You can do this through multiple gallery options. So if you slide over here, you know you'll have all your galleries to go from. You can rename all these accordingly as well. Now another thing to note with your cover art specifically is once you set it and you're moving your device around or you're looking at your device in your hand, that cover art does have a parallax effect. So it is going to move around every time you move your device in a certain direction. Now, if you're not a fan of that, don't be worried. You can disable that in the settings menu here. You do have the parallax in the cover option that you can untick. So it will disable that if you aren't a fan of that. You also have in here the photo and video options that you can change and you will be able to display the full maximum brightness. So let's say you're outside a lot and you whip out the photo app and you want to show somebody a picture. So it will automatically just boom, go straight into a maximum brightness mode so you won't have to go and adjust that based on your toggles or anything with your quick pull down so you do have that option built in as well which is really really nice so there's some really nice customization with this all the way throughout now once you have located the cover art that you want to use you can go through there and see all of the pictures based in that gallery that you're looking at you're going to notice up here at the top that the date's going to change based on the files that you are browsing through like I mentioned, you can use that slider to scroll quickly. Now let's say you can't find a picture. You know, you're scrolling through here and you just can't find that one that you took, but you remember a specific date you took it. Well, rest assured, there is a pretty cool feature up here at the top that you'll see a little calendar. That will actually place you into a calendar mode and you can go through here and browse through the months until you navigate to the file you took and remember that date. So let's just say November 2014, back on the 26th, that was the week I first got my Nexus. So boom, there it is, that's my Nexus. That's a picture I took uh, roughly a week that, uh, that I had it. You're also going to see I have information I can share and I can also tag it to my favorites gallery. So really cool feature here is if you do hit the information, I actually took that shot with a Canon EOS Rebel T3i. So it's actually gonna display that model there. You're gonna get all your information. You're gonna get your dimensions, the file size, the maker, which is Canon. You're gonna tell that I didn't use a flash. You get your focal length, your white balance, your aperture, pretty much everything you can possibly think of is going to be displayed if that is available. So pretty, pretty cool. A lot of applications don't really offer that. And you can even go so much further as to go into a full screen mode just by tapping one time. So you can disable that you can double tap, you can zoom in without re-enabling that. If you tap again, it will bring it back up. Another really cool feature is up at the top, you have a little wand and that is indeed going to enable an edit mode. And in here, you're actually going to have the option to change up filters that are included within the application. So you can go through here and you can actually adjust on the fly with filters you might want to use and you can even zoom in and check the very specific details if you want to see it up real close. You also have an undo feature at the top. You can redo, undo. If you just want to go back to normal again, you just slide over until you hit that normal. Now you do have some frames you can use as well if you want to put a little frame around that and you can change the border if it allows it as well. So if you go into the other different frames, you can change the borders 
based on the options that are ready readily available. You can change the color, the corner size, you can clear it out if you want to. So there's a lot of customization in the actual frame as well. You also have crop and in here you have a couple little tools that are available. You do have a draw and in here you can pretty much pick any color you want and transparency. And you can go in here and scribble anything you want in there based on your picture that you want to edit. And then you can, you know, change it. Ooh, you made a mistake. You can exit out. You can undo it as well. So there's a lot of features baked in with this. You even have exposure and auto colors you can adjust on the fly. A lot of things that you're not gonna find in other applications or at least gallery apps. And then you can obviously save it if you want to make those changes. Now, another thing that you can do is up here at the top, there's a folder and you can actually go ahead and just place that in a specific sub gallery that you have already created. If you have not created that gallery yet, you can choose to make a new album. You can also keep a copy of the original in the album it's currently in. So you have a lot of different choices to choose from if you want to go that route. If you go back, you can also get out of the calendar mode. As I mentioned before, you had that material design so you can swipe both left and right and get your different modes. So if you swipe over this way, you do get your sub galleries. Another really cool feature with your galleries is up at the top, you're gonna to see that little edit button. But if you just tap on that top bar, you're going to enable another feature. And with this feature, you can actually hide specific galleries that you make from being viewed from people you don't want to have able to view those pictures. So you can hide galleries from people. So that's a really, really cool option that a lot of apps don't have. And I really, really like this feature a lot because you know, you hand your phone off to somebody and they're scrolling through pictures. You don't want them to just go through every picture on your phone. So you can go in here and adjust the actual gallery they're going to be looking at and just really quickly say, hey, you know what? I don't want you looking at those pictures. Just look at my favorites real quick. And that's that. So really nice option built in there. You also have your delete icons there. So if you make a sub gallery and you want to go back and delete it and cre recreate it or whatever, you can do that pretty easily as well. Now on the other side, you can choose between just displaying pictures themselves or videos themselves. So if you don't want to view everything, you can go in there and adjust that really quickly. And you have the filter option to remove really quickly as well on the bottom there. You'll see it pops up but you can also just scroll over and hit all again. It's, it's easy, but you have multiple options. It's not just one particular thing. You do also have geotagging. I don't want to set mine up, but if you actually do enable the geotagging, it will in fact place a map in your cover art that will display the location area in the map, like a Google Maps, so to speak, GPS will pop up in there, even though it's not really GPSing, but it'll show the area, so that's pretty cool and then it will obviously display only the pictures you took in that location. So if you travel a lot or you go on a lot of vacations or, or things like that, that'll be an easy way for you to locate pictures according to where you were at. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up pictures in a nutshell. I hope you go check out this application and I hope you guys like it. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and support me by subscribing to my channel. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.